Hi everyone, welcome back. A very exciting video today as I'm unboxing my very first Hobby Hoppers Magic Maker package. If you didn't know, I've just been named as Hobby Hoppers Next Magic Maker after Steph from World of Papercraft. Check out Steph's channel, she makes the most beautiful cards. So my Magic Maker style will be more around art journaling and planning as well. So we have this beautiful box packed by Trish. And let's take a look inside at what my first package contains. So here we have the Hobby Hoppers a business card, Hobby Hoppers Crafty Things with this cute little uh, paper clip which Trish sells in her shop as well. Here are Trish's details on the back. You can find her at Hobby Hoppers on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Pinterest. And, and of course there's her website there as well. So what did I pick up in here? Well I think the first thing you can see poking out are these paints. I'm going to set those aside. We're going to look at those in a moment. I also got some black Nouveau drops. Um, so these are little drops that you can use to add dimension to your spreads. Just a little like pearl. Um, this is in ebony black and you can maybe see a theme here with these black colors next to me. And then we've got some cute pretty things in the bottom. Let's just take this box to the side. So first up are these Doodlebug Design Shape Sprinkles. So Trish, if you didn't know, also stocks Doodlebug Designs. And we have these gorgeous little enamel hearts. This is the range called All My Love, if you can see there. And it's just a collection of really cute little hearts from pink through to black. And I got this particular set because it does have the black in it. As again, you can see I've got a black theme happening here. These are epoxy stickers. They stick on most things. I've got them stuck all over paper and plastics and wood, uh, lots of things. So yeah, I, I really love these and these ones are tiny and you can maybe see they're just really rounded hearts, which are super cute, really lovely. Okay, and then last up I have two washi tapes. So let me unroll these and we'll have a look at them. I actually have a third tape as well that I got from Hobby Hobbles a little while ago that I haven't shown you yet. So let me pop these things to the side. We'll swatch the Nouveau drops later when we swatch the paints. But for now I just want to do the washi tapes. And I have here my commonplace swatchy book thingy. So we'll just find the next available spread. Um, got some bleed through from some ink I was swatching. All right, so the first one is this sort of coffee tea, bubble tea kind of tape. I'll just lay it down so we can sort of jump in straight away and see all of the um, designs. It is super cute. Um, I'll do the other two while I'm at it and then we'll look at them all close up. <clears throat> so this one has books and cats and I just thought it was so cute. Um, let's have a look at it. It's so adorable. Um, let's see where the repeat is. There's the cat again. So I'll just go to there. I might just have to cut this in half. And this has a beautiful pink background. Just a soft pink background. Cover up that swatch there. And then the last one is a more blue tape, but it's covered in these little rainbow houses. I think they're so cute. I think if you're searching for this one on the website, it's called Rainbow Houses. There's our repeat about there. It's just adorable. So there's our three tapes. You can see the top one has a rose gold foil with all those bubble teas in there. It is super cute. And then the books with the, this one has a little cat sleeping on the pile of books. It's so cute. And then yeah, all of the little piles of books, a little, um, little cactus and some plants and things. And then the last one is the little row of houses. It is adorable. So those are the washi tapes. So next what I want to do is swatch the um, paints. All right, so now let's take a look at these paints. 
These are Gansai Tambi graphite colours. Now Trish stocks, I think, nearly all of the Gansai Tambi paints. Uh, and they are stunning. I've actually used hers uh, on a craftenoon, and they are really, really beautiful paints. And these ones I'm so excited about because they're graphite colours. So you can see they're quite dark in the pan, but they do have colour to them, of course. You can see also here it's got the um, swatches to show you the types of colour that you could expect. So we have graphite red, graphite yellow, graphite green, graphite blue, graphite violet and graphite brown. Now these will have a matte texture but you can shine them up um, once they're dried by just using polishing them, I'm told, with a spoon. So I'm really keen to, to try that out today and see what that looks like. Now these pans, I think, yeah, they come out so they're completely movable and you can put them into a travel case or something if you wanted to. So, um, and they're large pans as well, so you can really get a big brush in there and get a lot of colour, which is pretty cool. I'll just see, have a look at the back. All right, let's just pop that there to protect it. It says a deep, tranquil Gansai Tambi colours with a matte texture and finish specific to graphite. Polishing the surface of graphite Gansai once dry reveals a metallic luster and hopefully you can see that kind of metallic luster there in that image. So yes, I'm keen to see how that turns out. These, these um, really muted um, paintings are just lovely. So let's give it a go and start the swatching process. I have this super cute cup of water here and I actually have my brand new brushes. Uh, these are the Betty Hayways brushes and I'll just grab I think maybe a smaller one yeah, I'll grab this number seven brush so you can see this has a nice hard point I haven't used that before so I'm going to have to uh, just clean that off a bit so I'm going to grab um, my water dropper which I've forgotten to bring with me okay I've got my water dropper here so we'll just pop, pop some water in these pens and really try to get that color out. I'm really keen to see how this looks. I, I you know typically use a lot of pearlescent colors um, so it'll be fun to see how these um, more matte finished ones turn out. All right so I'm going to do this in directly in my art journal. If you've seen I've done my swatching video very recently it was a long one where I swatched out all of my watercolors. I'm going to take it out of the leather just to get a bit more space on my desk. Uh, all of my watercolors and others. So this is a Leuchtturm 1917 art journal, uh, sketchbook I should say. And if I just go to the back you'll see here my swatching and this is what I mean by I'm, I'm very used to these pearlescent colors. So I've got those, I've got my Paul Rubens. Uh, I've got some acrylics here as well and I've actually got a graphite pencil here too and then I'm going to use this page for my Agensai Tambi graphite colours. Wow they look amazing. Oh, I'm very excited. So I've just been using my Quebeco Sport uh, fountain pen to set up the page. So I'm just going to write here Gansai Tambi and I want to swatch quite a long swatch so I can get as much of that colour um, wash out as possible. So I'm just going to write the, small, the short names. I'm not going to write graphite red because I already know that it's red. Uh, but actually I think I might not write the other names in until I'm done because I want to sort of see how big I'm going to make the swatch. So we'll just leave it there. I'm just going to work left to right. So let's dive in. I have my number seven round brush here. And we're going to just dig into this red here and just try to work up that colour. Really load the brush up and let's see how it goes onto the paper. Wow, it's so dark. All right, let's um, stop there and wash it out. Oh, I love that movement of colour through the, through the water on the paper. So pretty. Look at that. We've kind of got that little um, marbling effect through here. Love, 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 love. So cool. <laughs> okay, I'm excited, can you tell? All right, let's go the green. Well, I can't wait to use these in a, 
in a piece. Sorry, this is not green, this is yellow. So we'll just put a bit of color on the front. Oh, I feel like I'm wasting so much. And we'll spread. Yeah, wow, those colors are amazing. I'll just give it a bit of water there to move in. So that's the yellow. I can see that sort of granulating in there. We'll do the green next. Wow, this brush is awesome. Wow, they are so cool. Oh, I'm thinking of a lot of things now. <laughs> All right, the blue. We will try polishing these up as well at the end. I'm not sure I've got enough pigment down because it does say it has to be quite concentrated. So maybe I'll do some more concentrated ones on the other page to try that out. Wow, wow. Wow, these are amazing. Okay, so this one is the violet, which I'm very excited by. I mean, I love that red. That red is one of my colors for sure. But let's have a look at violet. My water is very dark now. Yeah, so it's definitely got that blue tone. It's almost like those purple grays that I've been talking about a lot lately. Love the purple gray. So cool man. And then the last one is our graphite brown. It goes down a little bit like the red. I love how my swatches always get larger from top to bottom. <laughs> it's like I get excited and have to spread it out. Okay, so let's see. Maybe what I'll do is just use the bottom and put some little circles of the colors. So the red, and I'm obviously not going to spread this out. I'm just going to let it uh, sit in a large amount of color because these are the ones that I want to kind of polish up and see how they look. Okay, so there are our graphite colors. They're stunning. I've sort of seen them a little bit online at the moment and they don't, I haven't seen them washed out this well. Like I've usually seen them quite heavy. So I'm, I'm really happy to see that they do uh, wash into a really lovely kind of pale color. They're almost um, uh, pastel, but in that kind of, uh, what do we call it? Like a vintage kind of line. I really love how they've turned out. They're just gorgeous. I can't wait to see how they dry. Uh, I've put a fair bit of water on the paper, I think, to do this because I wanted to get that good wash. So we are getting a little warping there, but that's it for the moment. I'm going to let that uh, dry, but what I would like to do before I do is uh, just put a little Nouveau drop on here just so we can see how that looks as well. I'm always a bit scared using these. I'm not sure. Let's see. So I've just squeezed a little bit there. I'm going to put it, maybe I'll just put it here in the corner. Uh, I think I'll do this side because it's on the edge of the page. So just a little spot. And we'll leave that to dry. So this is the Nouveau Drop in Ebony Black. Trish has lots of colours, not just the black. So I'm going to bring that up to camera just to show you. We've got our little drop here. And if you can see, without me ruining my paint, it has little dimension to it. It's, it's quite high. So I'm going to let those dry and we will come back and see how they look and we'll polish up 
these um, uh, more concentrated ones as well. So I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, here we go. Everything's dry now. I actually used my hair dryer to dry off the circles because you can see here I've smudged one where it's just a little bit too wet still. It took a long time to dry because I had a ton of colour in there. The rest of the page has dried ages ago and what I thought we'd do now is give this a go at shining it. Now you can see there is a bit of a shine there actually already where the colour is quite concentrated which is what they say you should be doing. I've got a couple of spoons here. I didn't know if gold would be okay but I'm going to give it a go. It says to use your fingernail or the back of a spoon to give it a bit of a shine. So let me just again, I might do this one, give you a close up of what that looks like there. A little bit of shine around the edge where that colour is darker and now I'll, I'll give it a shine and we'll see if it makes a difference. Okay, I think it actually has. You can see that, uh, yeah, look at that. That shine as, is really nice. Not the same as next door, so it's definitely done something different. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if that would work. I watched another video where it didn't work. Someone else had tried it. So I'm going to do all of these and I'll come and show you. All right, it did leave a slight, slight mark at the back of the spoon, but that's gone now. I'm just cleaning it off with a bit of water. Okay, let's see how they look. It was pretty quick. Didn't take me very long. And look at the shine that you get. That is so cool. Uh, I was doing a bit of reading about it. I've also done a little bit of a shine to the very end of the, the swatches as well. I'm not sure if we can see that. It's a little bit there, but I did it very quickly. But I'm very happy with the way that's come up. That is pretty cool. Yeah, so as I was saying, I was doing a bit of reading and it did remind me, it said in the reading that when you were younger at school, when you would use your pencil and just scribble all over the page really hard uh, and over the top of each other very quickly, it did get a bit shiny. And that's true, that's actually what this looks like. And that's because there's actually graphite in the paint. So they've mixed graphite in with um, color and they don't actually, they aren't specific about what colors they, they have used. So to make these colors, they've mixed graphite powder in. And so it actually does have the properties of graphite. Um, this is so cool. There's a little bit of color around the edge of each as well that's been distributed by the spoon on the, who knew I would need a spoon today? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, a bit of color that's come around the edges as well. Uh, it's very smooth, like a really, you know, like you'd imagine shiny, shiny things to feel. Very smooth texture as opposed to this, which has, you know, that rough paper texture instead. While we're here, here's my little Nouveau drop. Hopefully you can see he is a little raised drop there just sticking off the edge of the page. Um, he's dried nicely as well. Um, it does tend to dry with a little point sometimes. So once it was almost dry, I just um, touched it with the top of my tweezers just to push it in back into the circle. But I think that's probably an application thing. It depends on how you put that circle down, that little dot down. So I have to say, very, very impressed with these uh, Gansai Tambi graphite colors. So again, I got these at Hobby Hoppers. This is my little package of goodies that I got as my first Magic Maker package. We have the, uh, the graphite colors. We have the shape sprinkles here from Doodlebug Design Co. And then the three washi tapes uh, as well. So please, if you haven't already, check out Trisha's shop, hobbyhoppers.com.au. Uh, Hobby Hoppers is a small business here in Melbourne run exclusively by Trish, so, and she is fabulous. We all love her. The washi tape queen. Um, so many washi tapes, but also lots of other beautiful crafty goodness. So um, yeah, go check out the website. I'll leave all the details below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these beautiful paints. I cannot wait to get stuck in and do something with them next. All right, guys. Thanks again. See you all super, super soon. Bye.